You're watching Action News Now. Storm Tracker weather, coverage you can count on. Well, the rain expected this weekend has forced the cancellation or at least postponement of Chico's Kite Day on Sunday. The Chico Area Recreation and Park District says the event is now Sunday, April 30th at the 20th Street Community Park off Martin Luther King Boulevard. The pleasant sound of running water. This is a Creek Chico's Seed Orchard today. It's a nice day to go out for a walk as well. Meteorologist Patrick Wright joins us now from the Storm Tracker Weather Center. So, nice day today. It's not going to last through next week, though, right? No, tomorrow is the final day of dry weather. It will involve some clouds moving in, but rain and shower chances do arrive beginning on Sunday. Looking outside right now, it's looking fantastic. We do have a few high clouds rolling on through, but all that's going to do is filter out some of the sun's rays. This is looking from the Rattlesnake P camera. Looking towards the west with Palermo in the foreground here, we are in for an amazing sunset this evening, so be sure to snap some pics tonight. Going forward, we will have a mild night ahead. Those clouds will be moving out, but only to return by tomorrow afternoon. Showers also make a return this weekend, beginning as rain on Sunday. Temperatures tonight dipping down into the upper 30s to around 40 degrees this evening. Going forward into tomorrow, though, Another absolutely gorgeous day. Mid 60s for highs across the valley. This is right around average for this time of year. Be sure to soak up some of these warmer temperatures and compared to what we've had the last few days and soak up some of the sunshine in the morning. As I mentioned tonight, these clouds do move out rather quickly, setting the stage for a clear sky tomorrow morning. Just a few high clouds out towards the mountains in the Sierra, but otherwise it's a sunny day to start on Saturday. That does change by the afternoon. Four o'clock, high level clouds rolling in. That does thicken up as we head throughout the rest of the evening. A chance for a sprinkle or two by 11 p.m. Saturday night, but most of the rain moves in Sunday morning, and this will bring some heavy rain at times, but most of that is done by the early morning hours. Just scattered showers heading into the afternoon and evening. Rain totals with the system, not a lot expected. Up to about a quarter of an inch in some parts of the valley to about half an inch in other parts of the valley. So it isn't going to be a washout. It's just going to be enough to add some moisture to the already wet ground. After Sunday, we do see some chances for showers moving in Monday. Snow levels will drop down to around three to 5,000 feet in the Sierra on Monday. So we will see lowering snow levels. But Tuesday and Wednesday, we do have some active days, especially farther to the south. That's when an atmospheric river is moving in and we are getting the northern edge of the system. Now, models are disagreeing on how far north this moisture does make it so so far I'm going with showers he rain heavy at times but that's going to be isolated heading into Tuesday and Wednesday going forward though models are also a little having some disagreements on what to expect coming in for the next round of rain after that it has backed off on some of that moisture over the last couple of days so it's something we will have to watch going forward as we get closer and hone in some of those details spring begins on monday temperatures will be in the upper 50s so it's not going to feel like a chance for showers that day we will see more rain coming in tuesday and wednesday it is a cooler system though so temperatures will be in the low to mid 50s but as I mentioned, there is a lot of uncertainty towards the middle to end of next week. So it's just going to take some time for us to hone out some of those details. And we'll just have to wait and see exactly how much rain does fall up to about one to two inches possible. Patrick, you've got Monday some green Friday. shamrocks on your tie. I can see right through you. Oh, yeah, going right through me. I had to celebrate one day. I can't <laughs> on the green screen wear green very often, so I said, might as well. Uh, you should have been allowed on, on St. Patrick's <laughs> Day. Thanks, Patrick. 